the rate constant for the first order decomposition of water molecule is expressed by the following equation. This is the equation given here. The question says calculate the energy of activation for the reaction. It means Ea is unknown. Well, rate constant of the reaction is given here and you have to calculate energy of activation Ea. Let us apply Arrhenius equation which relates rate constant and energy of activation. The equation is log k, k is a rate constant is equal to log a, a is a pre exponential factor. It is also known as a frequency factor. It indicates frequency of collisions between colliding particles minus Ea, Ea is the energy of activation divided by 2.303 R. R is a gas constant, T is the temperature. We can compare this equation with this given equation. It is K. Well, since we have to calculate energy of activation, we compare this, uh, this part of this equation with this value. Then setup we get Ea divided by 2.303 R T is equal to this value 1.3. 50 multiplied by 10 to power 3 and unit is k upon t temperature temperature will cancel out now you can transfer this value on right side then we get ea is equal to 1.50 multiplied by 10 to power 3 and unit is k kelvin multiplied by this value 2.303 multiplied by r value is equal to 8.314 314 and its unit is joules per mole k kelvin kelvin will cancel out now you can multiply 1.50 by 2.303 by 8.314 then the value we get 28.72 i get this value after rounding out the figures multiplied by this power value 10 to power 3 and unit left is joules per mole well we convert joules per mole into kg per mole because kg per mole is the unit of energy of activation. 1 kg is equal to 1000 joules. That is why I multiply here 1 kg divided by 1000 joules. And so joules to joules will cancel out. 1000 can be written as a 10 to power 3. A 10 to power 3, 10 to power 3 will cancel out. The final value we have that is. 28.72 and its unit is kg per mole. This is the energy of activation of the reaction. Well, the second part of the question says at what temperature? Means temperature is unknown. Will its half period be 126 minutes? Well, we know that the relation between rate constant and half a period is given by the equation k k is a rate constant is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half t half is the uh, symbol of half a period well from this equation we can find out uh, rate constant k value and so we can plug in the k value in this given equation and find out temperature t is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half is given 126 126 and it is given in minutes that is why we convert into seconds 1 minute is equal to 60 uh, 60 seconds that is why I multiply here 60 and it is second 126 multiplied by 60 is equal to 7560 you can divide 0.693 by 7560 the value we get 0 0.000092 and so second is given in denominator if it goes up as a numerator you will have per second now we write this value in scientific notation we move this decimal after 9 you will get 9.2 multiplied by since we move this decimal on right side after 5 digits then we get 10 to power minus 5 and so it is its unit is per second this is the rate constant of the reaction. We can plug in this value in this given equation and find out temperature T. Well, here we have log k k value we have determined that is 9.2 multiplied by 10 to power 10 to power minus 5 is equal to it is given here 
फोर जीरो सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फोर जीरो माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन टू पावर थ्री एंड यूनिट इज के अपन टी टी इज द टेम्परेचर वेल वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन एंड फाइंड आउट टेम्परेचर टी ऑन लेफ्ट साइड वी अप्लाई लॉग रिथम प्रोडक्ट रोल इट स्टेट्स लॉग ए इन टू बी बेस टेन कैन बी रिटर्न एज लॉग ए बेस टेन प्लस लॉग बी बेस टेन we apply the same concept here then we get log 9.2 plus log 10 to power minus 5 and so log of 9.2 is equal to 0.9638 9638 and so here for log 10 to power minus 5 we apply a logarithm power rule then we get minus 5 log 10 and log of 10 is equal to 1 And you will have minus five multiplied by one is equal to minus five. Here, here we can put here minus five. We can do the subtraction here, and so the value we get minus four point zero three six two. And so we can put this value uh, on right side. Then we get a sixteen point four zero and minus one point five zero multiplied by ten to power three k upon t. Now you can transfer this value on left side and this value on right side. Then the setup we get 1.50 multiplied by it is zero multiplied by 10 to power 10 to power 3 k upon t is equal to 16.40 16.16.40 and so h1 negative. Sign is given, and this value is also in negative form. And say so once we transfer this value on right side, negative negative will become positive. Then we get 4.0362. Both values are in positive form. We can add up. Then the value we get 20.4362. 4362. Now you can transfer the on right side and this value uh, on left side. And we get uh, t is equal to t is equal to 1.50 multiplied by 10 to power 3, and unit is k kelvin. And so only we, and this is kelvin. And when we tra transfer this value on left side, it will come as a denominator. Then the value we have 20.4362. You can divide 1.50 by 20.4362. The value we get 0.073. And find here we can put here 0.073. And so this power value multiplied by 10 to power 3 and unit is k. Well, we write this value in scientific notation. We move this decimal uh, after 3. Then you will get 73 multiplied by. Since we move this decimal. On right side, after three digits, you will get 10 to power minus three. Minus three and plus three; these are the same and opposite exponents over same base will cancel out. Then here we have the final value, that is 73, and the unit is K. And this is the temperatures when the half of periods is 126 minutes.